This is my zine that I made in honor of Martha Unrath's retirement from being a library clerk at Victor Primary School. So the first page has a printed quote with a stamp cut, layered paper frame and crayon surround. The next page has a little comic and a paper frame with a watercolor surround and a wordle on top. The next page has a pop out, a banner with bubble letters, and some flowers. I made my stems too long, but that's okay. I either use my mistakes or I fix them. And in this case, I used them. So I wanted to enjoy how they kind of stick out like a little bookmark. Again, there's a paper frame. I typed up a little message. I have a stamp, some watercolor, a quote, and I've got some ribbon stitching. And it hangs out like a different kind of bookmark. On the next page, I have a poem. It's a matrix poem that can be read a couple of different ways. It's a little bit like a list poem. I have a paper frame with layered tissue paper and a little sticker M on the inside of my flap. I have some bubble letters on my heading. I have a definition printed from the internet. And I have two flaps with some fun facts about how much Mrs. Unrath helped me. Notice that I have a different color background behind my flap here. And of course I doodled in some of the edging. And on the back, I have a little envelope that can be opened. And inside, I have a little picture of our library and a little note on the other side. This was a wax relief with watercolor over and some doodles around it. And this is my zine. It's a gift. It's heartfelt. It's beautiful. It's creative. It's a little messy, but it's supposed to be because it's handmade. Every page has content and art and it's active so that the reader does things with some of the pages. And there's many other types of things you can do on your zine.